Matt Brown here. Let's play a game. Simon says jump. Simon says run in place. Simon says raise your hand if you know how to express business logic rules within your model. It's okay if you didn't raise your hand, because today we're going to go over several control flow mechanisms built into Eggplant AI that allow you to better represent your platform's business rules and logic. Our first example is the most basic. Normally, actions can only connect to other states within the model. However, after selecting Sequent in the Action Type dropdown, you'll notice an immediate visual change for the action shape. Now we're able to highlight our root action and check the connection box in the sidebar, ensuring that the process of selecting the user role should always happen after the connection to our system has completed. Our next example involves excluding certain actions from being considered by the AI engine until certain conditions are met. In this case, I don't want the click login action to execute until after the username and password have been entered. First, we set up a state variable for each requirement. We should also provide an initial value. Next, we need to add the necessary preconditions in our action, defining the value that is required before the action can be executed. Our last step is to ensure the corresponding action sets the flag to the required value. Also, for our example, we want to limit these actions to executing only once. Now, once we run our model, we can be sure that the login action will not happen until after the username and password have both been entered, regardless of the order. Our last example focuses on scenarios where the model can potentially branch to multiple states and user journeys. After logging in, our user might wind up viewing one of two different home pages depending on the roles selected earlier in the model. In order to clarify the different conditions for each connection, simply highlight the source action, then define the condition and required value in the right sidebar. Finally, our model now has all the necessary business rules configured, and we're ready to run our test. As always, thanks for tuning in. Simon says be well.